Hey, hi, Karan. Hey, hi, hi, Karan. First of all, thank you for giving us your time, you know, for placement wire. Uh, so Karan, we'll so start with your pleasure. yeah yeah. So Karan, we'll start with your introduction first. Can you tell us uh, who you are, from where, which college you have done your BTEC, or you're doing your BTEC right now? Cool, cool. So hi guys, I'm uh, I'm Karan Adit Singh. Presently in my final year, uh, and I'm I've been pursuing my BTEC in computer computer and communication engineering from NMIIT Jaipur. Uh, yeah, and uh, I've I've got a full time offer from. Microsoft India as an L59 SD, and uh, currently I'm working as a junior smart contract developer in one of uh, Web3 firms. That's Demons. Uh, so, Karan, could you tell us about you know the Microsoft process in brief? Okay, so wholesome in the Microsoft process was uh, digging how deep your knowledge is in DSA. So it comprised for me that was for four rounds. For somebody it might be three rounds. Or somebody it might be five rounds. This this is not a fixed. I guess a bracket ki four rounds. Hi honge. So for me, it was uh, a four round process. Two rounds were uh, complete DSA rounds. One was for a depth DSA. Second was my speed, speed testing and how do I, how I'm, how good am I in problem solving? Third was a system design round where uh, how do my, my current brain stands for the architecture that's being built. And fourth was a techno manager round. So Karan, now we'll start with your oh, interview experience. So can you go round by round? What was your round one interview? Okay. So in round one, uh, the interviewer that uh, was there in front of me basically focused on how do I approach the problem rather than, uh, you know, uh, just uh, passing the test cases. He wanted uh, to know ki a question of kitne or tarike se kar sakte ho. Uh, what are the different approaches with the, their time complexities? Uh, basically, a technical round. Jaha pe, uh, uh, it was more of getting into the boundary test cases. Ki what are the boundary test cases? Or what are, what is the most naive approach that comes to your mind? And what's the best approach? The journey from the most naive to the best approach was discussed. So I guess pe, there, were, there were two questions that were asked. Uh, not of a very difficult question. I'll again say. So, two questions uh, jo, uh, were, uh, one, one was that, what do you call it? Uh, print is exact pattern of a matrix. That's again, a very standard lead code question where uh, you have to just uh, get into uh, a matrix or sko, zigzag pattern. Mein wo kar dena. Just uh, two for loops if you know. So, zigzag pattern mein matrix ko print karna tha. Uh, so, it's may because matrix says you need to get into the boundary edge cases. Ki where do you lie? Where do you stand? Then uh, after that, why is it happening in n square? Can you log in? Mein kar sakte ho kya? Sort ki hai ya isko. So that was uh, something that went into the depth. So here the data structure were uh, you know, uh, matrix or uh, loops. Ke count, time complexity or space complexity. Ke mein kaafi discussion hua tha. So this uh, question took me around 15-20 uh, minutes to be discussed. Fir, uh, second was again a standard question. Uh, the stack ka question tha ye, ki, uh, you know, uh, you are given a compressed string like uh, A2 bracket mein BC. So you have to print two BC hai to BC BC. So A BC BC is the answer if the string is given A2 bracket mein square BC. So if it's given two way, so the output should be A A. Uh, so this uh, was a question again, this was a uh, stack based question. So yeah, the task was to decompre uh, decompress it. And uh, in, uh, there were more of a discussions ki stack ki kya complexity hoti hai or stack ki kya kya features hote hai. Then why stack, why not a hash map? Uh, all these things, jahan pe he got to know ki kitne, kitne clarity hai humko basic data structures ki. Bas, so that was all that happened in round one of uh, interview. There was interview round two. Now, surprisingly, I thought it, it would be again a DSA round. Ye ek system design round. System design round mein, it was uh, the question that was asked was to uh, develop a clone for Times of India wala app. Jaha pe, for example, if somebody logins, uh, you know, in an app, they uh, somebody asks the application asks me for my interest. Is it in sports? Is it in politics? Is it in international news or <coughs> any of the <coughs> these features? So there was these categories that the user is asked and. Uh, Similarly, <clears throat> the notification, if some uh, news is being posted on the app from the database side, from the admin side, the, you know, the user that is the subscriber of that thing should get a notification. So 
uh, this was the question given and i needed to design an entire uh, flow ki kaise kaise sari cheeze hongi again uh, ye naya hi question tha but it's like ki for example if somebody is ask you ki how does uh, google map work to it is like ki you need to know ki uh, wo with the, with the time apni routes ko dekh dekh ke develop hota hai that's machine learning kind of a way so uh, you need to thoda sa understand basics ki what revolves around tech and uh, you need to interact with the interviewer what is whatever is going in your mind is is to be said and that is what uh, whatever the first thing that came to mind and i said that and the interviewer was said ki are ye aise kaise hoga this is not the thing so he guided me ki idhar soch so that that is where i went so this is how i completed uh, my second round uh, but uh, there was this one more question that's called uh, i guess the guest estimate again not a fixed answer for example the question that was given to me was how many uh, you know mcdonalds would be sufficient for delhi ncr so uh, there's no definite answer i concluded the answer was 45 but closely the answer was 15 or 18 but the way i approached and got to the answer of 45 even if i would have said 150 that is not uh, anything to worry but how did i say 150 the how deep i went so this was more of a technical round but how clear am i, I i am i in my you know mind about tech things is what a system based around rounds no data structures were asked this this was suddenly the round started with without the question of tell me about yourself uh, like every uh, there's no introduction by the interviewer it just came and gave me a dsa question so ultimately this round focused on my pace and efficiency efficiency of problem solving not much of the discussions for uh, uh, you know ab- about the questions the problem was given even if uh, i tried to explain because uh, that's how you approach in a tech interview so even if i tried to explain the i was instructed to solve uh, with multiple approaches but with minimum time so if uh, somebody would have practiced lead code or interview bit one would have gone through these questions one was uh, one was that thing Mm, what do you call it minimum number of arrows to burst a balloon this is again a very standard question i purposely you know uh, tried to start with the naive solution but did not pass all the test cases then ultimately i jumped to the dp approach and uh, the question got passed second question that <clears throat> came was something around string where uh, the three strings were given s1 s2 and s3 and i don't remember much about this question but uh, i needed to find the occurrence of s2 in s1 and then replace it by s3 something 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 quite a long time back uh, not now very long time but 5 6 months back so the interview was there uh, so the, yeah this was the question and again uh, but uh, there was uh, this twist in that there was when the second question got solved the interviewer asked me to uh, you know solve with the entire uh, different approach that the approach he did not like so i solved it with the uh, easy uh, array and vectors and uh, so you know just replaced it with a swap function and quite easy way but he told me to use a different data structure there and uh, do it so it took me some 5 10 minutes to understand but uh, yeah the interviewer helped me again i thought that uh, okay bye bye microsoft not happening there at that moment of time but yeah the interviewer helped me and uh, the uh, test cases got passed so round 4 was basically uh, a techno managerial round where uh, mm, more it was more of a personality test where uh, uh there was this uh, um, interview the guy came that was kind of a you know with a good aura even of a 30 40 seconds of his introduction as like his fan and so he uh, when he came he was he, he, i knew that he was thorough of my resume he even knew every corners what i wrote in my resume so whenever you give a resume make sure that it's not a very high five but whatever is given is you know is covered by you because that is where you miss a chance uh, even if you answer everything okay so that uh, my resume was a very basic resume not much to be there but uh, so he asked me tell me about myself so what what words i used was something that he focused upon so one of the words that i used was a tech enthusiast so he started since you said that uh, karan you are a tech enthusiast which n- this technology invention intrigues you the most i had no idea uh, i am literally i'm everybody what uh, no, no, nobody is a tech enthusiast okay so same with me and for an interview i said that yeah i am a tech enthusiast and i don't didn't know but uh, i just got a new macbook uh, a week ago so i said ki samne rakha tha to i said uh, siri is the something that intrigues me the most siri the you know 
robots so he said uh, what more about this i said cd alexa and google home whatever but i did not know the name of microsoft uh, what do you call it the robot or everything uh, so i covered it that way i'm really sorry but i do i'm more into the technology than saying the names uh, the what do you call it nomenclature uh, so he said uh, okay it, this is the technology thing discuss with me how this uh, guy or this robot is created so what i knew was this was something about artificial intelligence and uh, what we speak is converted into the their language i did not know anything about it but i had you know i had to break that down everything and i discussed with it or oh, from the first moment he knew that I, didn't, i did not know anything about it and i was ghosting him but he even carried up on uh, saying ki dekhte hain kab tak aage badhega to from 8 10 minutes i realized that he he knew that i'm ghosting him so i apologized and said uh, furthermore i i couldn't cannot be interviewed on this because that's the most that i get i could said so but uh, he i guess he liked the way that i you know was breaking down things that i did not know something new technology that came to me was breaking it down then translating him to what my understanding is and i'm asking him is that correct so he was giving his feedback so that was a that was not of an uh, an interview that was more of an interaction session on that thing but again this i thought that this was over but uh, uh the this question saved me because uh, my strength was my resume because whatever i wrote was something that i had gone multiple times and uh, i wrote multiple times the word blockchain so he asked me about uh, what is blockchain explain me in a layman language so just the discussion on blockchain went for 25 30 minutes uh, because uh, blockchain is blockchain blockchain is literally the best thing i uh, my my uh, love in tech is blockchain so i you know i discussed with him what is blockchain so he said what is the future of blockchains convince me to get into web3 and i am into web2 you are even interviewing for a company that's web2 why why are you interested in web3 and everything uh, so so karan can you tell us how did you prepare for this interview okay uh, so the preparation was really standard it was not a one day process that was a chain that stuck what started in my second year third year that i started with like there are multiple platforms say lead code geek for geeks interview bit and what not uh, i cannot count but i chose the lead code but you can choose anything that's not because everything has the same set of questions and uh, so my strategy was something that was not into you know solving 500 600 800 questions i had a bank of uh, 300 questions uh, that was again jot down to 150 after the second round and uh, those 150 questions were actually practiced for more than 5 6 sets 5 6 times and uh, i had that confidence that agar uh ye questions i so i'll be uh, you know i'll be solving it in a minute or two and i'll be uh, uh, submitting the tab and going on so my strategy was not to get up and solve uh, new questions every day because then to there is no you know there's no limit ki tum hum, hum aaj bhi teen question roz karenge so there'll be a lifetime and i'll be solving questions 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 so there are these standard questions of all data structures so that is that was my that was my strategy to solve uh, a limited questions more number of times than hunting for new problems that 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 is how i got mastery in data structures or uh, specific data structures could you give some tips for the student who are going to appear for microsoft or any other campus placement as say hmm tip is like uh, the first tip is don't hunt for tips okay Uh, there is just uh, one approach that you need to follow and you need to follow that sahi ho galat ho doesn't matter if you have you know started your journey with the, this uh, strategy remain with that strategy until and unless you get an offer what else can i say is he the thing that uh, favored me was i was not my own enemy like uh, if uh, if i knock somebody's door and and he has done more say 50 more questions than me 100 more questions than me doesn't matter okay But don't compare your day 10 with somebody's day 20 or day 25 that's something that is uh, very relevant because everybody has a different uh, learning pace uh, a learning strategy so you need to uh, know that you'll land somewhere good 
बस खुद का दुश्मन नहीं बनना होता यू हैव टू बी इन दैट पॉजिटिव स्पेस इट्स ऑलवेज दैट यू नीड टू बी इन वेरी कूल एंड एंड गुड माइंड सेट एंड इफ यू नॉट तो जब तुम्हारे सामने क्वेश्चन आएगा इंटरव्यू में इंटरव्यू इज नॉट समथिंग दैट यू टाइप एंड वो क्वेश्चन बन जाता है इंटरव्यू इज समथिंग दैट्स अनएक्सपेक्टेड सो इफ इफ यू आर इन अ वेरी कूल स्टेट कि हां ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल जब मेरा माइक्रोसॉफ्ट था तो द द फर्स्ट स्ट्रेटजी फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वाज नाम हटा दो कि माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का इंटरव्यू है मेरे लिए बस एक ये इंटरव्यू है क्योंकि इफ आई गो विद द बैगेज कि माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का इंटरव्यू है वन फक अप इज समथिंग इफ आई एम अलाउड टू से दिस वर्ड वन फक अप इज समथिंग दैट That makes you care. अब तो नहीं होगा इतनी बड़ी कंपनी जा रही है एंड योर कॉन्फिडेंस गोज दिस वे सो यू नीड टू बी वेरी रेलिवेंट वेरी चिल एंड वेरी पॉजिटिव कि हाँ यार इंटरव्यू ही तो है चाहे माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का हो या किसी स्टार्टअप का हो माइंडेड स्टार्टअप के इंटरव्यू ज्यादा टफ होते हैं किसी कंपनी से तो दैट्स ऑल जस्ट बी वेरी पॉजिटिव एंड खुद के दुश्मन मत बनो यार uh, इस समय तुम्हारे पास कॉन्सेप्ट है तुम्हारे पास एक पॉजिटिव माइंड सेट है इट इज जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ टाइम and just don't compete क्योंकि किसी दूसरे का data structure अच्छा होना does not mean तुम्हारा खराब है उसका कोई और company ले जाएगी तुम्हारे लिए रास्ता साफ कर रहा है वो so just be in that positive mind and uh, uh, we'll meet in Bangalore Hyderabad Pune somewhere